2021 सिविल इंजीनियरिंग सेट टू क्वेश्चन 40 अ फायर होस नोजल डायरेक्ट्स अ स्टेडी स्ट्रीम ऑफ वाटर ऑफ वेलोसिटी 50 मीटर पर सेकंड एट एन एंगल ऑफ 45 डिग्री अबव द हॉरिजॉन्टल द स्ट्रीम राइजेस इनिशियली बट देन इवेंचुअली फॉल्स टू द ग्राउंड अज्यूम वाटर एज इनकंप्रेसिबल एंड विस्किड कंसीडर द डेंसिटी ऑफ एयर एंड एयर फ्रिक्शन एज नेग्लिजिबल and assume the acceleration due to gravity as 9.81 meter per second square the maximum height reached by the stream above the hose nozzle will be the relevant npl reference has been cited if we consider a fluid flowing in a pipe and let us say the pipe is of a peculiar shape if the fluid is assumed to be incompressible and in viscid in that case we can apply the bernoulli's theorem which is which states that the sum of pressure head kinetic head and elevation head remains constant in a fluid so if we take this point where the pressure is p1 height is z1 and a speed is v1 and if we take another point here whose pressure is p2 height is z2 and speed is v2 so p1 over rho g plus v1 square over 2g plus z1 will be equal to p2 over rho g plus v2 square over 2g plus z2 this relation would hold true only when the fluid is incompressible and in viscid this is called as bernoulli's theorem we will use the same to solve this problem we are given with a fire hose nozzle which is projecting a stream of water the stream speed is given as 50 meters per second and the angle of this projection is given as 45 degrees so we know that the water will go in somewhat this manner and finally come to the ground so we we need to find the maximum height that can be called as h above the fire hose nozzle that the water reaches so let us consider our first point here this is our first point let us call this as our second point so for applying bernoulli's theorem we need the variables so let us consider this as our datum level so for the first point since it is at the datum itself elevation head will be zero speed is given as 50 meters per second and pressure will be equal to the atmospheric pressure for the second point the elevation head will be nothing but the height that the water has reached speed will be the initial speed that is v into cos 45 since for a projectile at the maximum height all the vertical velocity is lost and only horizontal velocity remains so by the conservation of momentum we can see that the initial horizontal velocity will be 50 cos 45 which will remain conserved in this projectile at all points if we talk about the vertical velocity initially it will be 50 sin 45 it will go on decreasing till the max maximum height where it will be equal to 0 and then it will again start increasing but in the opposite direction and coming to pressure it will again be equal to atmospheric pressure since since both these points are outside the pipe and there is only atmospheric pressure there so comparing these two using bernoulli's equation that is z1 plus p1 over rho g plus v1 square over 2g 
is equal to Z2 plus P2 over rho G plus V2 square over 2G. We know that P1 and P2 are equal so this term and this term will get cancelled out. Z1 is 0, Z2 is capital H. So this term would reduce to V1 square over 2G equals capital H plus 50 cos 45 square over 2G. This would give H as 1 over 2G 50 square minus 35.36 square. This would be 1249.67 over 19.62 which would be around 63.69 meters. Since the question asks us to approximate it to two decimal places. So a fire hose nozzle is directing a steady stream of water at a speed of 50 meter per second at an angle of 45 degree above the horizontal. The water is assumed to be incompressible and inviscid. The density of air and air friction were negligible. The maximum height was found to be 63.69 meters using Bernoulli's theorem. The relevant NPTEL reference has been cited. Thank you.